If anyone ever accuses you of doing something for attention, simply gaze heroically into the middle distance and murmur, like Lord Byron before me. Once again, the internet returns to its hobby of dragging Lord Byron. Hey, I have a literature degree, and I'd just like you all to know that this is a good and valid hobby, and it has my full support. Pam, are you real? Like, do you actually exist? Because something as funny as you surely in God's green earth can't exist, right? Always love your content, man. I'm an amalgamation of sass, sarcasm, and tomfoolery. How much tomfoolery, exactly? A tomfoolish amount of tomfoolery. And sarcasm? So powerful that not even Slash Jen is strong enough to hold my sarcastic tone. But how much sass, though? Yeah, at least 20. The drawing scene in Turning Red reminded me of how I was obsessed with Link when I was May's age. So I guess you could say it was a link to the past. Mm-hmm. I can't remember how to write one, a thousand, fifty-one, six, and five hundred in Roman numerals. I am livid. Everyone go home, puns are done. Aw, I was having a good day. Wait, Five Guys isn't a masculine hootus? I just want to print this ask out and frame it and keep it on my nightstand so it's the first and last thing I look at every day until I die. Bread wetness scale, with a baguette on one side, a mug of beer on the other, and spaghetti right in the middle. Congratulations, Patricia Taxon. You have officially wrote the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Good job. Does one have to be okay? Is it not enough to be simply feral and sleepless? Treat yourself like you would treat your favorite character. Yeah, as a fan fiction writer, I think this is a bad idea. If there's a Florida man, then where is the Florida woman? The Florida and me? S-M-H. Tisk tisk. Walking into the morgue to find body parts scattered across the floor. Oh my god, who closed last night? Do you ever see an artist with such an impeccable style that you're just like, this artist would be so powerful if they were obsessed with my favorite character? Yeah. The gods give their biggest EPs to their most snuggled up warriors, and gods, am I the best warrior there's ever been. Congratulations! You've scrolled so far, you found the dopamine. About fucking time. My job on the commune is to execute evil wizards with my enchanted blade. Hi, buddy. Uh, uh, cool, cool blade you got there. What's it for? Well, th th this is awkward. Um, so get this. I haven't logged in the Tumblr for seven years. The last time I was on here, I was in college. Now I'm married with kids and started watching the PMC More videos with my husband on YouTube. My husband told me if I made a post and PMC more featured it in his video, he'd take me to Melting Pot. I resurrected my Tumblr account and took it off life support just because I really want fucking chocolate fondue, man. Help a girl out. Well, long road to paradise's husband. Start the car. My stomach hurty. But I'm gonna be brave about it. Do the video. Let's do it. Scientists tagging birds with colored bands and accidentally making the tag birds more appealing to mates is so funny. Imagine being abducted by aliens and they give you a Gucci belt. Don't know how many times I showed a non-Tumblr person a Tumblr post and had the whole thing derail because the poor soul actually read someone's username. Holy! All girls are catty to each other. Um, myth, actually. Just statistical error. Average girl is nice to other girls. Regina George, who goes to high school and insults over 10,000 girls each day, is an outlier and should not have been counted. This is it. This is the best Spiders George. Everyone else go home. Here I am on my therapist's waiting room wearing some cat ear headphones with little LEDs. I am the cringe. I am happy. I know they meant to say in therapist's waiting room, but I like the idea that they're actually on the second floor of the waiting room. And like, look, I'm on it. Me having a conversation about any piece of media. Don't say it, 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 don't say it. So for example, in Megamind, they need to invent a food that I do not have to do any work to prepare and is also cheap and is also nutritious and also tastes good and also doesn't hurt my tummy. Mood. <laughs> Absolute mood right now. Remember, you need to find the time to relax and decompose occasionally. It's great for stress. I thought they meant decompress, but no. You could be peeling a boiled egg and think to yourself, wow, that was so simple, and then you peel another one. It's like being in the throes of war, shell everywhere, egg mangled, tears in your eyes, 
and that's how God keeps you humble. The full game of Deltarune isn't even going to be announced. Toby's just going to break into your house, install it into your PC, and take $8 from you overnight. Like Santa Claus. My boyfriend is washing the dishes, and I just heard him say, Hey, who do you work for? Who's your contact? While repeatedly pushing a glass underwater. At least he's having fun. One thing you have to admire about the new Puss in Boots movie is that it has one of the few interpretations of death in animation that is not just a robe skeleton with a scythe. That's not to say that classic design of death or the Grim Reaper is bad, it's just so tired and overused at this point. Not to mention it's hot as fuck. Is it not enough to intensely daydream a fanfic in painful, emotional, and visual detail constantly for over a week? Must I also convert it to doc slash word format as well? Gaddy. I told my mom it was National Compliment Day, and the first thing she said was, You have a big-ass forehead. Why is everyone so mean to me? No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Big forehead means that no one can possibly miss when they kiss you on the forehead. Just saying. Listen, people on the internet will look for any and every reason to hate everything. And to those people, I say, get a fucking life. This, this, fucking this. Uh, Andy, put, just put, just put sparkles around this. This is, this is it. This is the one. My biggest nitpick with Elden Ring so far is that sometimes the death animation feels like it takes an eternity. Then do not die. Yeah, try to see it less. I could be a total geek and try to explain why the death animation is so long, but let's just not go there. Me, when I'm in an area. That's a guy, all right. Yo, he's so fucking over there. You know, it's fair and fucking shit. Hey, never put those words together in a sentence ever again, thanks. I remember about four years ago, I was browsing Tumblr as per usual, when I accidentally tripped on a wire and fell on my face. I guess you could say I... Took a tumble. <laughs> Funny, right? Please laugh. You know what? Just, Andy, just give him half a rim shot and before it hits the tsh, just, just end the video. Hello, I've been informed that I yell and scream too much in my videos for the sake of comedy. So now I'll proceed to read these in a very normal, monotone voice. Andy, please transform me into the normal man. Thank you. Harsh writing advice. Your project is in garbage, you just need to go to bed. First of all, how dare you? Do you ever think about how a series of tiny choices like, I guess I'll watch that show, can like totally and entirely change huge aspects of your life? Wow. You know, I would trade places with a black bear sitting in a stream right now. Right now. Oops, I realized that was too goofy. I guess I broke my own rules. Might as well go back to being me. Ah! I mean, yes, I could have put all that in a single post, but an increasingly unhinged self reblog has better dramatic pacing. Leaves the room, then immediately marches right back in, finger upraised. And another thing! Bucky, what's your answer to the trolley question? Run over the one guy, then set the train in reverse. To, to run over the other five guys? No, because I forgot my wallet at home. Yes, to run over the other five guys, idiot! Oh, Thor, if that's you, bitch, I love you. This is Zeus erasure. Zeus deserves to be erased. Oh, sorry, I guess I was info dumping again. Sad, shy, apologetic. You sly dog, you caught me monologuing. Cool, strong, and confident. Be more like Syndrome, but actually, no, not really. I take that back. Hold on. At my boss's funeral, kneeling and whispering at coffin. Who's thinking outside the box now, Gary? I told this joke to my wife while she was using mouthwash and she spit it out. Behold, sun rays shine on the warm breath of a polar bear. Alternative option, fire-breathing polar bear shows off his skills. The fact that bakers aren't called breadsmiths is a fucking crime. I agree. I, too, make random noises when I'm bored. Take his ace to the time loop. Please, no, you can't do this to me. Please, no, you can't do this to me. Please, no, you can't do this to me. I'm stuck in a loop. The words stuck and loop got mashed together in my brain and read, I'm in a soup, so, yeah. Funny you say that. I personally am stuck in a soup. Please, no, you can't. Here's your sign to do something spontaneous. Well, that's one way to do it. Hey, look what I can do now. Ay, 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 ay. Awaken, my master! Baby girl. I know video game lore you wouldn't even care about.
college isn't real, money isn't real, but you know what's real? Live music. Nicknames, when you shorten someone's name affectionately. Nicholas names, when you elongate someone's name affectionately. Nichard names, when you incorrectly elongate someone's name for humorous effect. For example, regarding that last post, I know video game lore you wouldn't even care about. Things that Mattity Patity says to his wife. <laughs> I wish I could just draw my characters instead of imagine drawing them. <sighs> I did not order this box of cat. How are you complaining? Look at its face! It's literally making the colon three face. I want to pet him. You know, I was trying to come up with a subtle joke about this, but all the ones I thought of were too ham-fisted. <laughs> when exactly is Uptown Funk going to give it to me? Saturday night when you're in the spot. Did you not hear, Bruno? I don't believe you. Just watch. Legs, brought to you by Necromancy. Isn't this the plot of Onward? Yo, Mr. White, can you switch me back to wet food? This dry shit sucks, bitch. I feel like Tumblr is giving me a somewhat skewed impression of what Breaking Bad is about. Galaxy brains myself out of existence. Oh my god, the gender neutral version of Goth Girlfriend is part noir! Shout out to the girl in 10th grade who introduced me to the phrase SUCK ON MY METAPHORICAL NUTS Thanks, Sarah. Wherever you are, our paths crossed so briefly, but you changed me forever. If I could replace all the porn on the internet with scary ghost pictures, I would. Do it, Pucky. Get him. I heard the Grim Reaper is bisexual. Apparently, death comes for us all. JEFF! Neil Gaiman, can you explain this? Absolutely. They are what we call pictures. In this case, images taken from a longer set of moving pictures we call an animated film. This series of animated films is called Arthur. In the original version, the frames are projected many times a second and due to phenomenon known as persistence of vision, appear to us to be moving. Any questions? God, that was such a based answer. Well, we're receiving unconfirmed reports that it's bedtime. Citizens are advised to get into the pajamas and remain on high alert. Okay, I guess the video's over. Bye, everybody. You know, my hungry ass could never be a mechanic. What? <coughs> Hi. Writing prompt. It is known that the older a vampire, the more powerful it is. At a few centuries, a vampire is nearly unstoppable. You've just met a Stone Age vampire. Oh my god. Hey, don't cry. Crush three cloves of garlic into a pot with a dollop of olive oil and stir until golden, then add one can of crushed tomatoes, a bit of balsamic vinegar, half a tablespoon of brown sugar, half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, and stir for a few minutes, adding a handful of fresh spinach until wilted and mix in pasta of your choice, okay? So, uh, I've tried streaming for exactly two minutes before my social anxiety commanded me to stop. What's even worse is that I had two randos in my stream and I just said, no, I can't, and just ended the stream. The Marie Kondo approach to gender. Does it spark joy? Based. Does it suck? Throw it out. Does anyone else have a doc where you put the fun ideas you don't have time to write? Alpocalypse and Lamageddon. Those are so good, what? And I thought I was edgy when I called mine the cemetery. <laughs> Pucky, I've run out of games to play. I've played everything on Xbox Game Pass and have nothing else. You must play Hollow Knight. You must bite the bullet and play Elden Ring, even if it isn't on the Game Pass. You must play The Outer Wilds. You must buy a PC and play Factorio and Terraria. Now do these things. This is phrased like a biblical commandment. You must buy me hot Cheetos at the store. You must buy me a Diet Pepsi. You must bring it to me and give me it. Uh, so tired this fine morning. Mood. Me at any given time. Can we just buckle down and focus on the task at hand, please? My brain. Hmm. Rainbow sprinkles. Capture. Spinch. Bunch. Chicken nuggies. Broggle. Stir babies. I feel called out because I do this. Blooper reels for anything make me so stupidly sentimental. Watching them with tears in my eyes, like, look at them, laughing together, goofing off, being human, having fun, creating art in the process. I feel so normally about this. I miss when Pixar used to do it like they purposely made bloopers. What happened, Pixar? What happened?
Quoting vines in Rome to see who responds. So far we have, in the Colosseum, a tour guide was talking about who sat where, and when the mention that the emperor and some other guy sat in one place, I said, and they were roommates. And one of the girls in the tour said, oh my god, they were roommates, in a thick German accent before glaring at me. And an alcove in the Vatican Museum with nothing in it, and I quietly said, this bitch empty. And a British girl said, yeet, before realizing her mistake and telling me to go fuck myself. You're the hero we need yet don't deserve. Hey, Rambo. Gay ass. <gasps> Where? Is it me or did Meet the Robinsons predict Super Mario Odyssey? Let's see, flying hat, frog possession, dinosaurs. Yeah, Meet the Robinsons is Waluigi Odyssey. Fuck! Also, hi, Austin. Perceive a drawing of an adult in 1884. <gasps> oh my God, it's your mom. Holy shit, I have the best idea. Okay, my line of logic was, well, if I put the sponge in the blender, when I turn it on, the sponge will spin around and scrub the blender for me so I don't have to spend ages cleaning it. This not what happened, though. Person on the phone. Hello, am I speaking to the head of the household? Me handing the phone to my cat. It's for you. No posts available? What? What the hell, man? Suspiciously, post-shaped crumbs around my mouth. Oh, no, what happened? No, little German boy, don't go to the weed cave. Oh my god, this is ain't full of blood smoking! <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell is that last post? No, little German boy, don't go to the county fair! Oh my god, I already feel so utterly clogging! No one understands me. Alright, stop! Eight billion alive people, 15,000 years of human history. Someone has felt what you're feeling! Just stop it. Gentle reminder that often creativity decides to hibernate for a bit. It's okay. You're not broken. You're resting. And much like spring, creativity comes back. I needed to read this today. Wait, is that Will Wheaton? Love to cause situations. Hate to be near them, really. Undiagnosable. Um, butterflies when they flap their wings. <laughs> of course you have pro hair and blue nouns. One can't decide whether to join the Bards College or the Thieves Guild. Hmm. One will just have to weigh the pros and the cons. Perceive a grammatical gender of countries' names in Croatian language. <sighs> Splatoon Mega Turf War! My laptop wasn't working, so I yelled Christo at it, and the screen immediately turned black. I'm performing an exorcism now. Is that. is that silly string? It's not silly string if it's a very serious matter. Hmm. Serious string. I am a goddamn innovator. My jug of Arizona tea had a hole in the bottom, so I poured it into an empty milk jug because they're both gallons, and my intellectual mind had deduced that it would fit, and it fits. So I have been informed that a gallon of any liquid will fit into any gallon container, so I am not, in fact, a genius. Mm. So the shower perch fell off the wall today, and Mia got a bit more water than she bargained for. Mia would like the internet to know that she is now warm and dry. Oh my god, look at her. Generalized anxiety disorder is kind of a funny diagnosis. Like, this bitch is just scared in general. <laughs> I hate it. You have not experienced true fear until a poster falls down in the middle of the night. Yeah, one time I thought a poster had fallen down in the middle of the night, but when I turned on my light, it was actually a possum that fell through the ceiling into my room. So that's actually true fear. Oh. Get asked, idiot. Get answered, idiot. Get replied, idiot. Get screenshotted, idiot. Get reblogged, idiot. Get tagged, idiot. Get peer reviewed, idiots. Image description. One, a screenshot of a reply that reads, get replied, idiot. Two, a screenshot of Tumblr tags reading, hashtag get tagged, idiot, slash NID. Get image described, idiot. Get polled, idiot. Get cued, idiot. This reads like a World Heritage Post. <clears throat> If I may add, get voiced, idiot! I want more overgrown ruins to explore, and if I have to make them myself, then so be it! This makes me picture someone aggressively planting vines around a family dollar that closed down two weeks ago. The older I get, the more dark I become. Obsessed with being given affection and being told I'm doing a good job. Losing my damn mind every time I get to go for a nice walk. You're terrified of the doorbell. You think being gay is hard? Try telling people you're only attracted to clowns. You know, narcissism ain't cute, sis.
Yesterday, I bought and downloaded the Stanley Parable, and then my power went out for the rest of the day. God himself didn't want me to play the Stanley Parable. God is the narrator. So my working theory is that reincarnation is real, and that's why everything is so fucked up. We got too many people on Earth and their souls were supposed to spend a few more cycles as endangered animals or something, but we fucked the environment and got overpopulated. So we get guys who were supposed to be like black-footed ferrets or whatever until their soul reached maturity, but instead they're like influencers and politicians. This is also why furries exist. Yeah, I'll go ahead and integrate that into my belief system. Hey, PM, why are your characters ugly? Because they ain't catered to you, obviously. Like, literally, what the fuck are Anon's tastes? Your character's far from ugly as it gets. You know, because they are Anon. I'm a clown on them. They likely prefer the characters from Control-Alt-Delete. What a loss of taste.